happening right now. NASA astronauts are getting ready to blast off from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade, and it'll happen from right here in Florida. You're looking now at the Falcon 9 rocket at the Kennedy Space Center. Liftoff is scheduled to take place in about 10 hours. Elon Musk's SpaceX is at the focus of this historic launch, and Daryl Forges joins us live near the Kennedy Space Center with what we can expect. Daryl, good morning. Great to see you. What an exciting day. Right. Hey, stranger. <laughs> Right, and I get to see my two favorite Miami ladies, Maribel and Francis. Good morning to the both of you ladies. You just talked about it. We're hours away from this historic takeoff, but the biggest concern right now is the weather. Of course, the bad weather you all had in Miami could impact us here in Titusville, Florida. But NASA says that we're about have a 60% chance of takeoff. Hopefully that increases as the day goes along. But ladies, this historic takeoff is so meaningful in so many different ways. The countdown is on for SpaceX Crew Dragon to take to the stars. It's the first ever crewed mission for SpaceX and the first from U.S. soil to enter Earth's orbit since NASA retired the space shuttle program in 2011. The two astronauts at the helm, Colonel Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley. We've longed to be a part of a, a test mission, a test space flight, and Doug and I are lucky enough to get that opportunity. NASA partnered with Elon Musk's privately owned company to build and design the spacecraft. If the mission is successful, this will be the first commercially built aircraft to carry Americans to the International Space Station. That's good. While the excitement is brewing for the big day, the pandemic's impact looms. COVID did uh, drive some changes in how we were conducting our operations and preparing for this mission. We've been tested at least twice so far, and uh, rumor has it we might be tested again before we go. The Kennedy Space Center is closed to visitors. NASA is encouraging people to watch the launch from home, even with the impact of COVID-19. This space team is determined to launch themselves into history books. Where there's a will, there's a way, and there's been will to make this happen, and we're just proud to be a part of it. Now, before the historic takeoff, the national anthem will be performed by Grammy Award winning artist Kelly Clarkson and President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence are also expected to be here for the historic takeoff. Live in Titusville, Florida, I'm Daryl Forges. Ladies, back to you. Daryl, thank you so much. Great to see you back in Florida. And you can see today's historic launch right here on CBS 4. CBS News will have a special report beginning at around 420 leading up to the launch, which is scheduled for 433 this afternoon. Can't wait.